Josh Dumel got his start in the industry when he entered a modeling contest and won Male Model of the Year. He first achieved acting success in 1999 as Leo Dupree's on ABC's All My Children and later as the chief of security, Danny McCoy, on NBC's Las Vegas. In the past few years, he has starred in a few TV shows and numerous romantic comedies, always as the main character and the man every woman wants. He's also gained new fans from starring in the Transformers franchise. Here are 10 things you probably didn't know about Josh Duhamel. He wanted to become a dentist. Joshua David Dumel was born on November 14, 1972, in Minot, North Dakota. He dreamed of a career in dentistry and accordingly attended Minot State University. But he dropped out one credit shy of a biology degree after failing to get into dental school. He stated, After college, I followed an ex-girlfriend to Northern California, did a bunch of odd jobs. He completed his graduation from the university 10 years later in 2005 with a bachelor's degree in biology. He played quarterback for his college football team. Dumel had a passion for sports during his school and college days. He played as the backup quarterback for the university's football team, but soon realized that he was not good enough to be a professional football player. He also enjoys playing basketball and golf and goes skiing whenever possible. He was a good swimmer and worked as a lifeguard at a local swimming pool during his teens. He was a model. After following a girlfriend to Los Angeles, Dumel had a tough time making ends meet. He started modeling to make a little extra money and ended up being cast in two major music videos. He appeared as an extra in Donna Summer's music video for I Will Go With You and Christina Aguilera's music video for Genie in a Bottle in 1999. Becoming an actor. Dumel was passionate about pursuing acting, saying that he did not model for that long and was really unsuccessful at it. He added, I never felt comfortable posing in front of a camera. I always felt like I'd have more fun if I had something to do if I got to act rather than pose. That was the reason I kept hammering my agency to send me on commercial auditions. I'd been taking classes, and they were like, no, 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 those auditions are for actors, and I'd be like, oh, I'm gonna show you. Luckily, his persistence paid off, and in 1999, he landed his breakout acting role as Leo Dupree's in the soap opera All My Children. He gained a lot of viewers and critical acclaim for his work on the show, winning a Daytime Emmy Award for Outstanding Supporting Actor. He has landed so many movies and romantic comedies ever since then and has become a staple in great movies. One of his best movies is called Safe Haven, a Nicholas Sparks film. He had a near-death experience while shooting Shotgun Wedding. He landed the role in dramatic circumstances after he replaced Army Hammer, following Hammer's ongoing scandal. On an appearance on The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon, Dumel explained that while shooting Shotgun Wedding in the Dominican Republic, he had some time off and was staying near a cove. He said that early on in the shoot, the cove was perfectly calm, and he'd even jumped into it and swam over to the beach on his time off. About a week later, this place was completely different because now the ocean was really tumultuous that day and the waves were crashing like 30 feet in the air. This rogue wave comes up as I'm videotaping this thing and literally washed me almost over the edge of this cliff. He said that the only thing that saved him from being swept away was razor-sharp coral there that held him up. It turned me into hamburger on many parts of my body afterwards. It was one of the near-death experiences of my life, for sure. He puked on his first day filming The Mighty Ducks, Game Changers. Dumel joins the Disney Plus series as Colin Cole, a former NHL player turned coach who runs the intense summer hockey institute where the young athletes land. Playing hockey isn't like riding a bike, and he learned that the hard way while filming The Mighty Ducks, Game Changers. While he grew up on the ice playing the sport, it had been a long time since he laced up his skates. He told EW, I hadn't skated for 30-some years. There is such a thing as muscle memory, but I don't think that muscle memory lasts 30-plus years. I played a lot growing up, but I had to pick between basketball and hockey, and I picked basketball because I was too tall and skinny to play hockey at the time. When I put those skates back on, it was rough. He never anticipated just how difficult those first few days filming on the ice would be. I was using muscles I hadn't used forever. Literally, the first day we went out there to skate, after about 20 minutes I skated off the ice, found a garbage can, and just hurled. I couldn't catch my breath. I just wasn't used to it yet. But now I've been skating again, and I'm back into hockey, and I might even get in a league in LA. He married his celebrity crush. In a 2004 interview with InStyle, Duhamel named the pop star, Fergie, as his celebrity crush. 
He even gushed about how she featured in his naughtiest dreams. Since the press generally has zero chill, the entire quote went in the next edition of the mag. Running into Fergie a month later, she asked him about it. Embarrassed for a few minutes, he recovered and they got talking. Things went great and they got married in 2009. In 2013, Fergie gave birth to their son Axel Jack Dumel. The relationship didn't end up working out in the long run, the couple announced their separation in September 2017 and their divorce was finalized in November 2019. In 2019, he began dating American model and former Miss World America Audra Mary. He announced his engagement to Mary in January 2022. He hospitalized the night before his wedding. Dumel and Audra Mary were married on September 10, 2022 at Olivet Lutheran Church in Fargo, North Dakota. However, he almost didn't make it to his wedding as he was rushed to the emergency room just hours before the ceremony. Speaking on the Smallsies Surgery podcast, he said, Having thrown my back out the night before, I literally had to go to the emergency room two hours before the wedding to get shot up, so I could walk down the aisle. Mary told Vogue Australia that her groom threw his back out after pulling some wild dance moves on a party bus the night before their big day. In another interview with Kelly Clarkson, Dumel shared which dance move caused him to get hurt. They have those handles that you hold on in the party bus, I tried to do this thing like a gymnast, like, straighten myself out. So, I felt fine. I got through that night, and I wake up the next morning, two hours before the wedding, and I couldn't get out of bed. I literally couldn't stand up. He is very charitable. Dumel is dubbed Hollywood's humanitarian. He has participated in fundraising and provided support for organizations such as the American Red Cross, Habitat for Humanity, Make-A-Wish, and Stand Up to Cancer. He was kicked out of a plane. In 2010, Josh Dumel made headlines for the very stupid reason that he wouldn't turn his phone off when the flight attendant asked him to. He just ignored her and the pilot had to intervene, but Dumel still wouldn't turn off his device. Eventually, things got so heated that the pilot turned the plane around so that Dumel could get off. Later on, a rep for Dumel released a statement saying that the actor was sorry.